I'm Matt Dwyer. Today, I still have the pleasure of playing this Eastman AR372 CE Archtop guitar. And I'll just let you know that I'm putting my PayPal details below the screen, so if you feel like helping out financially, that'd be really cool because it keeps it going and I'd like to keep doing these lessons because they're a whole lot of fun and I like teaching them. Now, I actually had a request uh, for a Buddy Guy style guitar lick. Now, I'm a huge Buddy Guy fan. Uh, I love his stuff from the 50s when he was recording with Chess. Uh, he was uh, a solo artist as well as a sideman. Uh, he played on records with Muddy Waters and Hal and Wolf and all kinds of people. He played with Etta James. He was an amazing guitar player. He still is. He's still with us and uh, he is just one of the greatest blues guitar players that ever lived. And one of my favorite licks by Buddy Guy, which Stevie Ray Vaughan used a lot too. It's kind of how I got into Buddy Guy was by listening to Stevie Ray because he mentioned him a lot. So mm -hmm. just by doing research. Now there's a great Buddy Guy lick where you're playing two notes at once. Now you've got a guitar. Here's the thing. A lot of guys only play single notes when you play guitar, when you take a solo. But you've got six strings. Why not use more strings, more notes? Make, and that way you can get a fatter tone, you can get a fatter sound out of it and just, you know, fill up things a little bit more. That is one of my favorite Buddy Guy licks. And what we're doing there is we're in the key of A and we're pedaling against the A on the high E string there. So you're kind of barring your index finger across the top three strings. And what we're doing is while we're playing that A note, we're playing those notes against it. So to play it slowly, a really cool part of it is to slide up from the seventh fret to the eighth fret there with your ring finger. It's a great lick and you can actually use it over all the chords in a 12 bar blues. I'll play that really slowly. So all it is, we've got that A there, and we play the A against those notes right there that we're moving around. Now the great thing is you can play it slowly. you can play it more up-tempo. Now what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm putting the pick between my fingers because I'll be playing like that but when I play that lick I actually like to play it with my thumb and finger so I put the the pick going from there holding it in the traditional way and then I put it between my index and middle finger like that so that I can play that lick either with my thumb and index or thumb and middle finger. Whichever works for you. And there's the lick right there. So if you're playing in A, See what I mean? It works over every chord. And Buddy Guy, like I said, was just an absolute genius. And as soon as you play that lick, you're in Buddy Guy land. Mm -hmm. 
Check out the way he plays that on the live version of 10 years ago. Uh, it's on the Drinking TNT and Smoking Dynamite record, which is just amazing. And he does that lick a whole lot. It's kind of where I learned the lick, actually. You can see him playing it. So that's another lick that you can add to your vocabulary of playing in a blues. So, and you can play it in any key using exactly the same fingers. It's one of those wonderful things where if you learn it in one key, you know it in every key. So I'm just using uh, A today for demonstration purposes. So add that to your trick bag and it's just a really cool place to go to sometimes.